to be here. I was drafted to the Patriots in 2004. And uh, this is my second OD camp that I've been to. Uh, the first one was in Rhode Island uh, about three years ago. And I tell you, the first time I came to one of these camps, I couldn't believe it because of the intensity of the practices. I mean, you guys will act. Y'all tackle each other, y'all block, y'all catch passes and full of pads. You couldn't get my team to do some of the stuff that you guys are doing. So y'all should be proud. Y'all are working harder than a lot of people are right now, and it's going to pay off for you, you know, in, in the future. So you should be commended for that. Um, Coach has to come here and, and speak to you guys about a few things. And, um, you know, I, there'll be a time for you to ask questions in, in the end. But briefly, I just want you to, to share a little bit about my life and my story playing football. I didn't really start playing football until ninth grade. And uh, I played one year of Little League because my dad was a coach. That's the only way he would let me play is that he could be the coach. And so I was in maybe fifth grade. And uh, he asked me if I wanted to play football. And I was like, but you said I couldn't play until ninth grade. He's like, well, I'm going to be the coach. I said, OK, well, I want to play. So I get out there, little kid. Um, I was always you know, one of the taller kids, but I was, I was real skinny. My mom said my chest used to cave in like this. I was so skinny. And uh, I ended up playing running back and linebacker. And I do remember playing Little League football and on those Saturday mornings early and uh, just really really liking to play the game. Um, you know, my, my cousin played football. He was a little bit older than me, and we used to play in the street. Uh, we play on the street, and, and there'd be grass on the sideline, so we would tackle on the sideline where the grass was and two hands touching the street. And I still got scars from getting tackled on the street. I mean, it, was, it was fun, though. But um, I did play again until ninth grade. Now, growing up, I played a lot of soccer. And how many of you guys like, you like soccer? Yeah, soccer was my favorite sport, believe it or not. I loved playing soccer. But I always knew later on I wanted to play football. So if you're playing a sport now that, you know, it might not be what you want to be doing, just know that a lot of things can contribute to you being successful, you know, in, in the sport that you want to be in. So I played soccer going all the way up to ninth grade. And then I finally got to play football. And I'm a tight end now, but I didn't start off playing tight end. I started off playing running back in ninth grade, and also I played cornerback. I played DB. I'm a little bigger than a DB now, right? <laughs> well, I always wanted to play receiver. Jerry Rice is my favorite football player. Oh, I love Jerry Rice. I remember one time, you like Jerry Rice? Yeah. I remember one time I met Jerry Rice. I'm going to pee on myself. I'm talking about it. I was standing there. I had a football. I said, Mr. Rice, you signed my football. And my knees were shaking like this. And he signed that football for me. I just held it like a newborn baby. I just held that football. And I still have it to that day. I cherish that moment. But I had inspiration from people like that. And you guys have, get your inspiration from guys who play in the National Football League now, or maybe you, your dad played, or maybe um, you, know, you watch people on TV and they inspire you to play. Now, what you're going to realize is that as you get older, you're going to be the inspiration for somebody else. There's going to be people coming behind you that you're going to be a role model for. So that's why it's important that as athletes, we understand that even though you know we're our own people and even though everybody should be responsible for themselves, we're looked at with a higher standard. Because you guys play football, because you're athletic, because you made good grades in school, because you're good looking like myself. <laughs> People don't look up to you. And because of that, you should always try as young men to hold yourself to a high standard. The most important thing I can tell you guys is to obviously develop yourself physically, but more importantly, develop yourself spiritually and mentally and become men of character. So that one day you're going to become husbands of character. You're going to become fathers of character. That's the goal. That's the number one thing I can tell you guys, is that the world needs good men. You know that movie that say we need a few good men? Yes. The world needs a few good men, y'all. And you guys are in a great position, being athletes, being role models, to become that. Uh, when I was in, uh, I don't know, fourth, fourth, fifth grade, I was about 10 years old. Um, my father was my inspiration for playing football. I, I wanted, my dad played football at University of Maryland. He was a linebacker. And he was, he was a big dude, you know, he walked around his arms all big and stuff. And I'd be like, Daddy, Daddy, pick me up. He picked me up. I'd do pull-ups on his arms and stuff like that. And I always wanted to be big, you know, strong like my dad. But the number one thing my dad told me was, man, your relationship with God is the number one thing in your life. Because one day, man, football is going to be over. It is. 
I'm 28 years old now. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's old, ain't it? I'm 20, 28 years old. This will be my sixth year in the NFL coming up. I never thought I'd play in the NFL this long. I didn't think it, you know, I didn't think I would make it this long, but God's blessed me to be able to play going on six years. <coughs> and there's a, there's a guy named Rodney Harrison. Y'all know him, right? Yeah. Rodney played 14 or 15 years in the National Football League. Troy Brown, 15 years in the National Football League. Tom Brady, 10 years in the National Football League, going on 10 years. Randy Moss, going on 12 years. That's a long time to play. Most guys, you know the average NFL career is? Anybody know? Um, 13 years. He said the average career is 13 years. What do you think? Three to five. Three to five years. You're right. The average NFL career is three to five years. That's it. All those people you hear about, they're the exception. For every one, Troy Brown, there's about 2,000 or so guys who play three years. So the average career is three years. So if you guys are lucky, if you're lucky, you'll leave this camp, you can make your high school football team, you'll become a star there, right? You may be one in, I don't know, a couple thousand who actually get to go and play college football. If you play in college football, and you do well at that and become a star in college, you may be one in four or five more thousand who actually get to the NFL, who actually get a chance. If you become one of those guys who makes it to the NFL and plays 13, 14 years, you're one in I don't know how many. Chances are it's not going to happen. Doesn't mean you don't work for it. Doesn't mean you don't work for it. You, you work as hard as you can. Do the best you can so you can be that one in a thousand that plays in the NFL for that long, if that's what you want to do. But chances are you don't make it that long. So what am I telling you? I'm not telling you not to work hard. I'm telling you that there's more to life. As you get older, when you become 28, you realize that hey, the number one thing in your life should be your relationship with Jesus Christ. Your relationship with the God who gave you the ability to go out here and play football. Number two, your relationship with your family. Mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters. I just had a, I was talking to one of you guys earlier, and I got fined this year. I scored a touchdown, and I put the ball under my shirt, and I wrote it like this, like I was pregnant, right? Well, this had, my wife was actually pregnant with our first baby, and I, I had a baby girl January 31st this year. But, and I say that to tell you, I probably shouldn't have put the ball under the outfit violation, but I did it because I was so happy that I was about to have a kid, one of the greatest things. So your family, you know, your mother, your father, your wife, your, your kids when you have them, your brother, your sister, that's the second most important thing you're going to realize. That's the second most important thing in your life. Number three is what you do. And what you guys do, what I do, what my job is, is to play football, to win football games. And that's the third most important thing, but you got to understand that that number three is it going to be good until you get the other two in order? That's the number one thing that I can tell you guys today. I'm happy you guys let me come and talk to you for a little bit. I'm excited to see y'all play in the rain. I'm glad I don't have to play in the rain. <laughs> hey, I'm from, I'm from South Carolina, so when I got drafted to the Patriots, here's a funny story. When I got drafted to the Patriots, Mr. Kraft called me on draft day. And uh, he's like, Ben, and Benjamin would say yes. You know, I was a little nervous. He said, would you like to become a Patriot? I said yes, but in my mind I was thinking, I don't have no clothes to put on when I get up there. <laughs> All I got is short sleeves and stuff. I had to go buy a whole new wardrobe, winter coat. I had seen snow maybe four, four or five times in my life. And then I get dressed up here in New England and the snow was like, you know, ridiculous. All throughout the winter. But um, I'm happy to see you guys. I'm happy to see y'all play. If I can help you in any way, let me know. Um, I'm going to turn it back over. I know there's some, some specific questions that I know you wanted to, to ask me, and then we'll open up some questions, questions for you guys. But um, thanks for your time. Thanks for, thanks for your time.